Catholics have voted for the winner in the last nine out of the past 10 presidential elections. Mercedes Schlapp, senior advisor for strategic communications for the 2020 Trump campaign, joins me now on Skype. Mercedes, welcome back to the show. Thanks so much for your time today. Uh, uh, as you know, the Catholic vote was important to the president's election back in 2016. What are you doing now to retain and also to expand the Catholic vote? Well, I, the Catholic vote is a priority for this campaign. We launched our Catholics for Trump coalition that is going strong in many of these targeted states. And our goal is obviously to share the president's message. As we know, last night was so significant with Sister Dee Dee, as well as Abby Johnson, who talked about the horrors of the Joe Biden, Kamala Harris most anti-pro-life presidential ticket that we've seen in our lifetime. So Sister Didi was, I think, so inspirational for so many of us, someone who is, uh, serves uh, the, the, uh, the underprivileged, has been such a voice uh, for the unborn, and talking about the need to reelect President Trump because he is the most pro-life president that we've seen in our lifetime. Yeah, we've certainly heard strong focus on pro-life messages this week. How do you think that's resonating with voters? And how big of a role do you think that messaging is going to play as we get closer to the election? Look, I think that, that's, that there's so many of these different areas that the president is focused on. Obviously, his appointments of uh, constitutional judges to the court has been critical. His two Supreme Court uh, justices as well, as we know, Brett Kavanaugh and Neil Gorsuch were such significant picks. And we know that the Supreme Court is in a very delicate balance, and it's why we need a president like President Donald Trump, who understands that we need strict constitutionalists on the Supreme Court, on the federal bench. And I think that's going to be one of his legacies for generations to come, as well as obviously the president has been a staunch supporter of religious liberties and on uh, working on ending persecution of Christians abroad uh, as well. So for the president, he really has focused in not only domestically but abroad on how we can ensure that we can protect our religious liberties, something that we know that Joe Biden and Kamala will not protect. And so I think the president has such a strong record, and we share that with our fellow Catholics. You know, obviously, my Catholic faith is very important to me and my family. And being able to share that with Catholic voters who are deciding this November who should lead in the next four years, it's very clear that Donald Trump has been the supporter of those who are a people of faith, those who believe and are staunch supporters of, of the unborn and being a voice for the unborn. and. Really, the other side has gone so far left uh, that it would be very destructive for all the progress we've made in the pro-life movement. Mercedes, we have less than about a minute left, but I want to ask you this quickly. Let's talk about women and Hispanic voters. How is the campaign speaking to them? Well, we have this big pink women for Trump bus. I've been on it going to different targeted states. What I'm seeing on the ground is great enthusiasm by women, many of them running these field offices, many of them volunteers, making phone calls, knocking on doors. We're also doing the same thing with the Latinos for Trump. We have a very strong coalition there, in addition to Black Voices for Trump. And what we are seeing is huge enthusiasm for this president in the targeted states. We are going to keep talking about the president's strong record in helping women, in helping minorities achieve their goals. Uh, we've seen more opportunities for these groups uh, than we've seen under uh, when Biden was in, pow in power and his administration. Under Biden, we saw the weakest recovery since the Great Depression. Uh, here, what you have with the president is someone who under under understands how to build a strong economy, how to ensure people can get back to work and continue to combat the coronavirus, which we know has impacted all of our lives. Mercedes, thank you so much for your time. We really appreciate Mercedes Schlapp, Senior Advisor for Strategic Communications. Thanks again. Thank you so much.